Have you ever wondered how a simple act of dumping tea could spark a revolution? Today, we're diving deep into a pivotal moment in American history, the Boston Tea Party. This wasn't just about tea, it was a daring act of defiance that ignited the flame of the American Revolution. It's a tale of rebellion, courage, and the birth of a nation. Stay tuned as we journey back to 1773 and unravel the events of the Boston Tea Party. The year was 1773, and the American colonies were simmering with unrest. On the eastern edge of the Atlantic, the British Empire held sway, its vast reach extending from the Caribbean to the Indian subcontinent. Yet across the ocean in the 13 colonies of North America, the seeds of rebellion were being sown. The crux of the discontent lay in Britain's taxation policies. Imposed in the wake of the costly Seven Years' War, a series of acts were levied to recoup the war's expenses. The Stamp Act, the Townsend Acts, and finally the Tea Act of 1773 were all met with resistance from the colonies. They bristled at the idea of taxation without representation, a phrase that would become a rallying cry for the burgeoning revolution. In the colonies, the political climate was a powder keg waiting for a spark. The Sons of Liberty, a secret society committed to the colonial cause, fanned the flames of dissent. Figures like Samuel Adams and John Hancock became voices of resistance, their fiery rhetoric echoing through town meetings and taverns. The colonists were not just resisting the tax on tea, they were challenging the very authority of the British crown. In the heart of this storm was the city of Boston, a bustling port and the economic powerhouse of Massachusetts. Here, the tension was palpable. The arrival of three British ships laden with tea in November 1773 served as a catalyst. Town meetings were held, ultimatums issued, but the British remained steadfast, refusing to return the tea. The colonists were left with a choice, to acquiesce or to act. The decision they made would change the course of history, and so the stage was set for an act of defiance that would go down in history. December 16, 1773, was a day of reckoning for the British Empire. On this fateful winter evening, the Boston Harbor transformed into a stage where the drama of defiance and rebellion unfolded. The Sons of Liberty, a secret society formed to protect the rights of the colonists, decided to make a bold statement. As the sun set, they donned disguises, painting their faces and dressing as Mohawk Indians, a nod to the American spirit of freedom that they revered so much. Their target was the Dartmouth, a ship laden with the symbol of their discontent, the British tea. But the Dartmouth was not alone. Two other ships, the Eleanor and the Beaver, were also in their sight lines. These three vessels held a total of 342 chests of tea, a hefty fortune in the 18th century. Led by Samuel Adams, a man of fiery rhetoric and unwavering resolve, the Sons of Liberty boarded the ships without any resistance from the crew. The night was quiet, the only sound being the rhythmic splash of the water against the hulls of the ships and the muffled whispers of the disguised protesters. They worked with precision, breaking open the chests and dumping the tea into the harbor. The fragrant leaves floated on the surface, creating a surreal scene of defiance against the British rule. The moonlight danced on the waves, setting the stage for what was to become a turning point in the American Revolution. The Sons of Liberty did not plunder or steal. Their fight was not for personal gain, but for the principle of no taxation without representation. This act of defiance was a clear message to the British Empire that the American colonists would not be passive receivers of unjust laws. As dawn broke, the Boston Harbor was no longer just a harbor. It had become a symbol of resistance, a testament to the courage of a few men who dared to defy an empire. In a matter of hours, 342 chests of British tea were lying at the bottom of Boston Harbor. The echoes of the splashing tea resonated far beyond the shores of Boston. In the immediate aftermath of the Boston Tea Party, the British government reacted with a series of punitive measures that came to be known as the Intolerable Acts. These acts, which included the closing of Boston Harbor until the dumped tea was paid for, only served to stoke the fires of rebellion across the 13 colonies. The Boston Tea Party was a proverbial line in the sand, a point of no return. It was a clear message to the British Crown. The colonists would no longer accept taxation without representation. The event was a catalyst that turned a simmering discontent into a full-blown revolution. While the tea was steeping in Boston Harbor across the Atlantic, the British Parliament was boiling over with outrage. The destruction of the tea was not taken lightly. It was viewed as an act of treason, of open rebellion against the crown. 
The British government responded not with understanding or compromise, but with force. The intolerable acts were intended to quell the uprising and restore order. Instead, they only served to unify the colonists and strengthen their resolve. The acts effectively turned Boston into a martyr city, a symbol of the colonists' struggle against British tyranny. In the long term, the Boston Tea Party was pivotal in shaping the America we know today. It was a moment when a group of ordinary citizens stood up against an oppressive regime, asserting their rights and demanding justice. This spirit of defiance, this belief in the power of the people, is a cornerstone of American democracy. The Boston Tea Party did not just change the course of American history, it changed the world. It was a spark that ignited the flame of revolution, a flame that would eventually spread far beyond the shores of the 13 colonies. The Boston Tea Party, a bold act of defiance, had set the wheels of revolution into motion. So, what does the Boston Tea Party tell us about the birth of America? The Boston Tea Party, while a simple act of rebellion on the surface, held a much deeper symbolism. It was a reflection of the American spirit, a spirit that refused to be muzzled by the shackles of injustice. It was the spark that ignited the flame of the American Revolution, leading to the birth of a nation that valued freedom and equality above all. The event served as a powerful reminder of the lengths people were willing to go to stand up against oppression, to fight for their rights, and to shape their own destiny. The Boston Tea Party was not just about tea, it was about making a statement, a statement that echoed throughout the world, inspiring countless others to rise against tyranny. Indeed, the Boston Tea Party was more than just a rebellion. It was a statement of freedom and self-determination. That concludes our journey back in time to the Boston Tea Party. As we've seen, this pivotal event shaped the America we know today. It's fascinating, isn't it? How a single act of rebellion can have such lasting impact. We invite you to reflect on these events and their significance. What are your thoughts? Feel free to share in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button and share. Become a part of our family and subscribe to our channel. We strive to bring you videos we think you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching.